<laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. How's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to episode two of Heart and Slash. And now allow me to make a formal announcement. And that formal announcement is I'm a butthole. <laughs> How dare I not start the tutorial? You'll remember in episode one, we started out from the very beginning of the first uh, just play. And it started out with your um, little heart robot coming down off of the assembly line and it talked about the revolution and all of that good stuff well apparently I found out that the tutorial is a it's not necessarily a major part of the storyline but it leads into what we saw in episode one and you'll understand once I show you and I know the tutorials aren't normally things that people really pay much attention to but I really wanted to show you because I actually just finished it a few minutes ago and I realized, you know, this is kind of important because it leads us to where we were. You know, it tells how we got there. So I kind of wanted to show you that and let you see it. <laughs> I'm such a a-hole for not doing it before. And apparently there are, I guess, save points in the game because I didn't save and I must have lost my data or something. I'm going to have to figure out where the save points are. Uh, but again, I'm probably just rambling. So let us uh, be on with it, shall we? This time, the tutorial. It's actually kind of funny, too. I didn't know that. You can hit missiles to deflect them. That's uh, rather nice. December the 20th, 20 of unknown year. Heart Tech Main Campus Test Chamber. Now, the first time I had trouble reading this fast enough, which is Dr. Sympathetic. This coffee is cold. Sorry, CF Mark II is malfunctioning. It. FF. It says it doesn't feel well. Asking for extra maintenance. I'm afraid. <laughs> Spoiled brat. Doesn't matter. It was due for a re redesign. Dang, she just... Anyways, shall we start? Sure. Activating emo systems. <laughs> emo sys. Setting up uh, something. Please, get it right this time. I will. <laughs> emo systems. That's... Emotional systems, but it just sounds kind of funny when you say it like that. Good, good. Hello there, Unit Heart One. I am Dr. S. Your maker. Although there were lots of engineers involved, of course. He's <laughs> assistant, eh. Oh, yes. Let's enable the Environment Awareness Unit. Done. Okay, Heart One. Try moving the camera around with axis four, three, four, and three. Yeah, yeah, good, good, yeah, I got it. Move the camera. Get on with it. Now use your head with button nine. What the heck? What was it again? Oh yeah, that's right. I think you have to there we go. Okay, you, you have to uh, reset the camera. That always controls the environment awareness unit. You have to reset it like this. Hang on. There it goes. Special function, whichever it is. It's there. No, is there no other coffee maker in this building? Ah, let me check. <laughs> I kind of like the Dr. S. He's big into coffee like I am. Okay. I guess it's you and me now, Heart One. Let me enable the spatial displacers. Where was the control? <sighs> Come on. Finally. Okay, let's do this. Spatial displacer on. Now, try and move with axis 1. Axis 0, 1, and 0 again, heart 1. Excellent! Now jump a couple of times with the 0 button. Great, nimbler than expected. R remember, you can double jump. It took me two months to develop that. Two long months. Huh. <laughs> One last thing. If you get into trouble, you can always sprint with button 4 and 5. Like this? Wait. Sprinting, 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 <laughs> Nice. Ah, now let's give you something else to do. Careful with this. Pick it up by coming close 
and equip it by pressing button two. And ever so gently, ever, ooh, it looks pretty. <laughs> nice. Now you have a weapon. It's blunt though. Of course, because you don't want me messing you up. I'll come up there. You can use your equip weapons with button two and button three. Good, good, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't wanna, I'm sorry I have to run you guys through this whole control uh, tutorial. Some weapons have combos. Press button two, two, and three. Like this, two, two. Stars! Hmm, you learn fast. Darn right I do. I'm a genius! Remember, most melee weapons will launch enemies into the air. By pressing and holding button three, in the ground. Try it. You mean like that? Normally you can do air combos after that. Let's move on. The more time we spend here, the more time without coffee. And I need my coffee. I feel you, my man. Anyway, I want you to pick up these other weapons. Whatever. I like more weapons. More, more shooty, slicey, burny things. And the Neo Slicer, the Burning Slicer. Awesome. As you can see in the upper left corner, you have a main weapon and two secondary weapons. You can equip your left secondary by holding button four. You mean like this? Ooh, it's a fire blade. Ooh. And the right secondary weapon by holding button five. You mean like this? It's a lightning. Each weapon has its own combos and strengths, so you have a lot to learn. Remember, you can always examine your equipment with button 7. And of course, I always use this stuff. Get on with it. I hope you're ready. We are about to enter a real combat test. It's against an older model, so don't worry. Activating Slash 1056. And now you understand the origin of the name of the game, Heart and Slash. This is Slash. There we go. Releasing Control Lock. Ooh, first rule of combat. Do not get hit. I can't not get hit. This thing slices me as soon as it pops up. Okay, dodge is hit. Try to evade as the enemy is attacking with button one. And, oh. I did it! I evaded him. Second rule of combat. Ow. Exploit your enemy's weakness! Sorry if I yelled it out. Ow! Lock on it. Look at your enemy's face. It shows what he is weak to at the moment. Yep. Really? Ow! I can't. He's too good. Got him. Oh, I got his weakness though. Good. Nice. Now do it again. Okay, he's weak to electricity blade right now. But I can't dodge his hit. Still got you. Still got you. Still got you. Totally a fair shot. You missed. You're weak against fire. Now you're weak against electric. I, I'm stuck on a wall. Ha. Now you're weak against a normal attack. Ow. <laughs> really? And now fire! Okay, okay, just miss me. Ah, blasted. I said miss. Bl wait. Electric, right? Sure. Yes, I got you. Ha! I'm really enjoying this, you freaking... You sick, sick man! Yes, got him. Fire blade. Huh? What's this? Doctor! What's happening? Did James mess with the nuclear core again? No, it's the quality assurance system. Quasi? What about it? It's rebelled. Oh. Again? I need to figure out what's up with that. It sends security. We can't. Quasi's been messing with the programming of every unit coming out of the factory. It's brainwashed them! Silly. Robots don't have brains! Doctor, we need to get to safety. I know, I know. We don't know how many units were compromised. 
It's the revolution! We'll figure out something. I won't let you hurt my maker, you piece of junk. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, oh, hi -ya. Oh, regular hit. Stop. Ow. No. Warning. Warning. Security. Security. Warning. And uh, just so you know, it actually turns out you can't beat this guy. Not as far as I know. Regular hit. Dodge. Oh, because he hits you once and you die. <laughs> and so the revolution got started. Humankind fought hard and gave it all it got. But ultimately they couldn't overcome Quasi's precision. Only robots were left behind. Sad story. Sad story. Pity story. And, of course, that leads us into the factory of where we are today. The revolution started, and apparently Hart is awoken later on in the factory. So, I'm actually going to have to apparently restart chapter one, and I guess make it to a save point, because right after I got that upgrade you saw... I exited the game and just assumed that the autosave was good enough. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> and all my progress has been reset. And I no longer have that data file. So, on my own time, I'll be getting back to where we were. And then episode 3 will start back up to where we were. So I hope you enjoyed episode 2, which should have been episode 1. And episode 1, which should have been episode 2. But episode 3 is still to come. And I'm confusing you on purpose because I'm a douche. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry this is such a short episode, but I wanted to show you where we came from and how we got there. So, until next time, take it easy, my friends.